the first time now since the July 2017 robbery at a Northwest Fresno Starbucks, the Good Samaritan who took down the suspect is telling his story publicly. Action News anchor Corn Hogger joins us from the newsroom tonight with a quick decision leading to a violent confrontation. Corn? Liz, police have honored Craig Jerry as a hero for foiling that robbery attempt, but the man he stopped is still fighting him and claiming he's the one who needed a hero. When the masked man walked into Starbucks and pointed a gun at a cashier, Craig Jerry says he got up to leave. He barely moved before he changed his mind. I said to myself, I couldn't, I couldn't just go. I couldn't just leave. I needed to do something. And his something involved grabbing a chair, walking up to Ryan Flores, and bashing him with it. Jerry says he wanted to knock the guy down and disarm him. Didn't quite work. Flores lost his gun, which turned out to be a fake, and his mask, but not his footing, and he still had a knife. The two men brawled, and Jerry says he was scared it wouldn't end well. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to fight him. I didn't want to get shot. I just wanted him to stop. We're not allowed to show Jerry's face during his testimony, but he says Flores stabbed him in the neck. He showed jurors a wound more than an inch long and requiring six staples. Jerry says he eventually got the knife and stabbed Flores a couple times before pushing him towards the exit. Defense attorney Richard Esquivel asked him why the store's video doesn't show him bleeding. And he questioned whether Jerry kept fighting when he could have stopped. You're on top of him, correct? Correct. He is face down at this point. Correct. What's preventing you from backing away? His body was lifting up. There's nothing preventing me other than fear of my life. His body was lifting up, and I knew that if he got the knife again, he was going to stab me. Okay. When police interviewed Flores while he was in the hospital getting treatment for his stab wounds, he told them at the time he didn't even remember having a knife. He's planning to testify tomorrow, and his mother has said he might sue Jerry. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggart, ABC 30 Action News.